together. So Miguel's online uh, banking password is nine characters long and includes at least one character of each of five types. Okay, so, so first of all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will make these nine uh, uh, um, blanks, yeah? I know it is nine characters long, okay. And includes at least one character of each of the five types, digits, punctuation marks. So I have digits, I have punctuation marks. I have uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and certain other characters. So I'll just say other characters. I don't know what these are. Okay. The password begins or ends with one of these other characters. Now, you know, since I don't know what these other characters are, I'll just assume, for example, it could be like a dollar sign, or uh, it could be a euro sign, or it could be hash, whatever. Yeah. I'll say maybe other characters, something like these. Essentially, some characters which are not digits, punctuation marks, upper or lower case letters, right? Now, um, I'm given that the password begins or ends with one of these other characters. So then I know that either other appears here or it appears here. And I'm going to that is why mark it with an asterisk, right? We have discussed this before that in case you're not, there are two possible places for someone then you mark put the person in both the places and mark with an asterisk so that you know that this is not permanent placement but one of these right okay uh where are we um of which it contains so a password begins or ends with one of these other characters of which it contains exactly one so i know that there is exactly one of these other characters so either it will be here or here and nowhere else great all right um, no consecutive characters in the password are of the same uh, are of the same one of these types. Okay, for example, no capital letters preceded by or followed by another capital letter. So none of the two are going to be the same, right? So I'm going to put something like this. Anything which will remind me that two of the same characters cannot be together. Yeah. All right. Now. Um, there we are. The password contains more lowercase letters than characters of any one of the other four types, which means that lowercase characters are more than any of the other four types. All right. Now, these are just, you know, look, there is no defined process to um, write this, this shorthand, right? Whatever helps you remember, whatever helps you figure out, whatever helps you show your to yourself that this is what it means. So here, when I'm doing this, I'm saying L is greater than all of the four other types. You can show it in any of the other ways, but I'm going to try and reduce the time taken, right? I'm going to practice writing this kind of shorthand and I'm going to try to reduce the time taken, right? Otherwise, if I, you know, another way of writing this is let's say i'll say l is more than d the number of uh, lowercase letters are more than digits l is more than p l is more than u you know what i mean this is um going to take a long time right so then i'm not going to do that i'm going to write it like this okay then um it also contains fewer punctuation marks than digits so i know that p is less than d uh, then digits, lowercase letters and uppercase letters. So P is less than D, less than lowercase and less than uppercase letters. These three, right? All right. The first three characters of the password are M question mark and G. So I have M question mark and G as the first three letters, three characters. I don't know what is where, right? But I do know that two characters of the same type cannot appear together, right? So I cannot have M, G, and then question mark. I Basically, M and G cannot be together, which means that if I have a question mark and these two are same, it means the question mark has to be in between M and G, right? So then I can have M question mark G or I can have G question mark M, but my question mark has to be in the middle of these two, right? And this is what, this is a punctuation mark. Here I have a capital letter, here I have a capital letter. Hey, you know what? The moment I write a capital letter over here, that reminds me of something. I say that I've written my other character and I put a star here, but my other character cannot be here because I must have a capital letter here, which means that I'm going to cancel this off right away. And I'm going to say here is going to be my other character, which could be, for example, the dollar sign, right? So now the placement of this is also final. All right. Now in the table, select a type of character that the fifth character in the password must be. So I have one, two, three, four, and five. So I have to find out this. 
as the fifth character here, either digit lowercase, etc. makes sense. I know that it can't be other character for sure, right? And a type of character that the seventh character must be. So the seventh character is over here. So now I have to find this or this, in this and this in the seventh character. This can also not be other character because there's only one other character and that is over here. Make only two, yeah, selection. Now, look, my number of uh, uppercase letters is more than punctuation. Lowercase letters is more than punctuation and digits are more than punctuation. And my lowercase letters are more than all of the others. I have one punctuation. And how many spots do I have with me? Now I have five spots with me, right? I have to, look, I've put a punctuation. I have to have one of each type. I'm given I must have one of each type. This is done. Two of the uppercase are done. One punctuation is done. But lowercase and digits are not done at all till now, right? So I must have uh, lowercase and digits but I must have more lowercase letters than any of the others. Since I have two uppercase letters, automatically I know I must have at least three, more than or equal to three lowercase letters, right? Because I already have two capital, uh, two uppercase letters. So at least three. Then I'll have two spots remaining, at least three. Hey, but then, you know, when I put the lowercase letters and if I put three lowercase letters in these five spots, how will I be able to put lowercase letters in these five spots? I have to ensure that they cannot be right next to each other at all, right? Which means that when I put a lowercase letter, let's say I put an L over here. If I put an L over here, if I put a, another lowercase letter, let's say M over here, I'll put N over here. I cannot put them together. So my N cannot be here. This must be something else and this must be something else, which means that I cannot have more than uh, three lowercase letters. I must have only three lowercase letters, right? And of course, I must have more digits than the punctuation mark. I have one punctuation mark, which means I must have at least two digits greater than or equal to two, but I have only two spots left, right? I have more lowercase letters than the punctuation mark. The punctuation mark is only one. I have more uppercase letters already that is given to me. There are two uppercase letters. I have more lower and I have more digits. So these two must be digits, right? I could put two over here. I could put, let's say three over here. These two must be digits. Any digits doesn't matter. These are just placeholders. So then I needed to find this is going to be a digit and I know that this is going to be a digit. So I'm going to select digit and digit for both, right? Um, yes, it could take some time, of course. The important thing to remember is that you must be very, very clear about the data given to you. It is best if you can... Um, you know, write it down in a, in, in a way or make a small diagram such that all the data is there for you together. Yeah. So when I look at this data, I say that, all right, each has to be picked up once. I know this is only once. I know no two of the same type can be together. I know that the number of lowercase letters is more than all the others. And I know that digits are more than punctuation. The lowercase letters are more than punctuation and uppercase letters are more than punctuation. So now without reading this again and again, all my data is right over here because I've read it once. I know what this means, right? I know what this means. Someone else, if they read uh, my content, they, my you know, my, this all this that I have scribbled, they may not be able to figure out what is there. But if I am doing it for myself, then I know exactly what this means, right? It, yeah, it, you know, th so that is why these kind of questions will need a little bit of practice. This is like the analytical reasoning question that we keep talking about, right? Sequences and this comes before that, et cetera.